Oh, thank you guys for the re song requests. These are, I'm looking forward to all of these. Nice requests, everybody. Hey, Steo. Yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to spread the word about Tag Pro. I feel like uh, it's very underrated. It's just capture the flag with like controls, but then you get people that are like really into the controls and they, um, they like, <laughs> it's hard to explain, but like there's so much strat, it's four balls against four balls, capture the flag. And when you see people that are good at the game, like really good, man, man, it's art. <laughs> it's art. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, I, I get stoked when I watch really good tag pro players. <laughs> it's very silly. Three, two, one. Three, three, two, one. Oh, anti-block. Anti-block. are coming out of the oven and they are piping hot i don't know what that was but everybody drink for him. <laughs> <laughs> everyone everyone Whoa. just let, all right let's move on game game two. the following is a production of national league tag pro and cannot be reproduced in whole or in part without the express written permission of national league tag pro and its media partners thank you It's 10 p.m. Tuesday night. It can only mean one thing. So grab someone you love and hold each other real, real close. We're about to put on a show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Tag Pro After Dark.
hear me. Hi, I'm Meowpa. This is take two. That's Prowpro, and it's time for Tag Pro After Dark, featuring the Knights Who Say Re versus the Toronto Captors. Make sure you got your drinks out. I've got a bunch of water here handy. So these standings are not completely up to date. It looks like whoever is in charge of updating standings on TagProLeague.com hasn't done their job, and I'll tell you this. Golden Gate Warriors finished first place in the regular season, 31 points. Miami Dolphins, 20, um, 30. Hong Globotters, third place, 29. Los Angeles Breakers were swept. They've got 23. Reset Theory's got 24. Knights who say re, they want a top half finish. They need to get they need to get four points and hope for a tiebreaker, or better yet, five points tonight. Paparazzi, they're in. Pelicaps, they're out. Snipe Hunt, they're out. Toronto Captors may not want to face Holden Gate Warriors in the first round and the equidistant eight, as we call it in the industry. They're going to try and get some points here so they can uh, catch up a little bit. A sweep would help. A sweep would help. Previews. Wait, no, not previews. Rosters. I'm here. I'm here. Hi. 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 Rosters here. We've got four Toronto Captors. We've got agency. We've got... No name. We've got G Man eight one eight one, and we've got y'all. Hey, Funky Spud, how you doing? Nice stream earlier. And four nights who say re. We've got uh, Kool Aid, Griff, Dusk, and Sadness. That said, we also got previews uh, written by our own seven seven sevens barbecue. Uh, whatever you want to call him, I don't know what his name is. I almost said barbecue chicken. <laughs> Oh boy, it's late. Ah, uh, Knights who say re. Eat, well, Sevens is predicting a KSR sweep here. He's saying Sadness is going to be the player of the match. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes because this. Uh, Toronto Captors are going to want the best matchup they can get. And Knights who say re are going to want momentum going into the playoffs. And all of this is for the season 26. Super Bowl. some point in time, I will update that video. At some point in time. That time is not today, unfortunately. It is decision day, folks, and I'm doing some stuff in the back end to get us ready for this competition. You should watch some of the highlights from the season. And last season, apparently. And the season before that, apparently, I don't know how far back this goes, but hey, I've got to, I've got to fix some scripts. I mean, you've seen my stream before, you know the deal. I'm busy fixing scripts in the background all the time, and hopefully, I won't need to do that much more, much longer, because they'll be built in. Cough, maybe not cough, but you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. You get me, big man? Cheers. Cheers. Everyone out there, come by moi. I mean, it's on, uh, come by moi. Oh, Genki, let's go. Uh, I am Yalpa. Yoroshiku onegashimasu. Kanpai. Wait, this is water. Don't toast with water. Everyone, I hope you have your drinks, whatever you're drinking. It's Sunday night. I know. Work is coming. Wait, you can't hear sounds? 
I can hear sounds. I can hear sounds. Hold on. Hold on. Can you hear my voice? Oh. Oh, I see the problem. Three, two, one. Hey, three, two, one. How about this? Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey. Could you hear that? Cheers. Me just. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey. There, one for everybody. Just gonna wait for that to go. All right. Looks like the teams are just now starting to trickle into the groups. It's gonna be a few minutes before we begin. So, what's going on out there? Weird week, huh? Ukraine's at war. I think they're kind of winning. I'm here for it, but you know, big bad balls, right. big bad big boy. What? Listen. Nobody has slapped my butt cheeks since October, and I'm okay with that. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey. I'm okay with that. Let me get my butt cheeks in better shape before you come and, and, and slap them. Why is this uneven? Teal, bro. This looks more symmetrical. Let me get my butt cheeks in better shape. Let me let me shape my body, and then maybe maybe you can slap them. Maybe we'll see. World's a little weird right now. More ways than I've told you. I am not twerking on camp. I've been busy. I need to get back to being accountable. Let me do some jumping jacks right now.
the yellow one. The answer is the yellow one. Um, looks like teams are in here. Looks like we might begin this any moment now. Yep. We're going now. The answer is yellow. Followed by, uh, clear. Ice. Ice. Ice flavor. Sometimes I mix the yellow and the ice together. You know? Whew. Ooh, my stomach hurts. That's how you know I need to do more sit-ups. Off camera. Whew. Yeah, but sometimes you just gotta live on the wild side, you know? Sometimes you just gotta live a little dangerously. And if that means you're mixing Gatorade, you just gotta hope your authorities. Just gotta hope that the hydration police don't catch up to you, you know? I'm an outlaw. I'm on the run. I'm a cowboy, baby. But I'm drinking water, not Gatorade, so, you know. Ah. I don't want to do any more push-ups, sit-ups, yawn. <laughs> right now, yawn is delaying the game because I think he wants me to like do jumping hey, jacks. Hey, 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 hey. Or it's egg ball cue. Seriously. Egg ball cue. We're gonna get this game started eventually though. And by the way, if you want a free box of blue apron, just message me, send me a DM. I'll send you a free box of blue apron. Try it out. There. That's my advertiser for the evening. That's done. You might get more sound soon. We'll see. But for now, it's game time. We got game time. Maybe. And the music stops because we're supposed to go to the game. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is Moonbase. Three, two, one. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you, Funky Spud. We're on the way, not to say re and blue. Sound's not working, but that's okay. Just like that, folks, we're at the end of the season 26 regular season. That was a f that went by. I'm not sure if that was fast or not. It feels like the season went by quickly, but I just can't tell. Either way, we're playing this one in Griff's hometown of a cornfield. And that first round of puffs is split with a slight advantage, I think, to her team. And I just say Rhea, though Kool-Aid gets double tapped. That's how you know he's dead. And now here she comes, trying to make a move.
Down with the pullout pass three. Like I said, these both these teams have made the playoffs, but there's still something to play for here. And not just egg ball cue. G man. Pass two, three v two, pass one now. Drifts there. Dusk for some lazy anti. Didn't get back in time. No name's got a lot to do here. Doesn't use the portal. Oh. Oh. That's not what he wanted. Although his team picks up a pup sweep. Let's see if they can do better than this than Scotty Barnes did in the skills challenge. They should have a capping opportunity here. Still. Maybe. Yes. Yawn makes this 1-0 to the captors. Wait, is anyone in commentary with me? Let me check. While this game is going on, is anyone in the room? Huh? Nope. Well, if anyone from We The People wants to hop on commentary for a bit and jam, you know where to find me. Kool-Aid with the grab. Kool-Aid met by agency very well. As pups are coming up, G-Man with the opportune grab. He's going to let Dusk win a tag pro here. Tag pro sweep, but can green team cap in a cornfield? Dead in the dead of night. Oh, no name with a nice move on the portal to get out. Sadness has nowhere to go. Griff thankfully gets ahead for her team. No name creates some space. Bit Griff goes to the corner, gets out of the corner. Is ASAP even in the channel, Sir Clay? Because if ASAP wants to come in, I'm willing to let ASAP come in. We got some shit to talk about. We got some shit to sort out. Where? I don't, I don't see ASAP anywhere. Oh shit, Funky Spud's here. And we got a cap here by Kool-Aid. 1-1. One, one. Funky Spud, unmute yourself. If you please. I'm trying to find the group link so that I'm not commentating on a 20 second delay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Appreciate you. We live in the future. Do we live in the future? I can't tell. Kind of feels like the 1980s, but a as Kool Aid makes this 2 1 to KSR, which I missed completely because I was busy celebrating getting funky spud the link. Let me know when you're situated and ready to go. I'm here, I'm ready to go. All right, funky spud, how you doing this evening? Feeling pretty good. Um, ready to give some completely uneducated commentary, but uh, you know, I'm a fan. What can I say? You're a fan. That's right. That's what we like. It's it's like match of the day, you know. I don't know if you know match of the day. I, I absolutely do not know the reference. <laughs> ah, it's it's a soccer thing. Uh, sometimes the Premier League just has instead of having commentators do commentary, they'll bring in a fan from each team. And they just come in and like trash talk each other, and trash talk their team, the other team, and trash talk their own teams, and it's fun. So yeah, I think nights you say re have some people you know. I'm I'm pretty sure you know Griff, obviously, because Griff's I, a homie. Griff's a homie. She's on your screen. I see her from time to time there. Dusk, because Dusk is never five feet away from Griff. Yes, Dusk is a Dusk is a homie, I guess, in a way. Yeah. Hey, Dusk, you're a homie. Congratulations. So you come out to yeah. the pre anti penultimate pups here. Dusk wins a tag pro. I don't know if you know Kool Aid. I don't know if you know Sadness. I, I would imagine you know Sadness just from playing NLTP. Oh my goodness, yes. Kool Aid. It's 4 1. KSR looking good here. So yeah, let me let me introduce you to the players on Toronto Captors a little bit. Yawn, it's his third season playing. First season, 
won the Super Bowl. That's the pup. Went to ma- went to majors uh, two seasons ago. Played well for about five weeks and then disappeared. Now he's back in on ma- in majors and he's doing pretty well. Ooh, sadness. Save some of that for tomorrow. Uh, G Man's a long time ball. I remember G Man from like back in season nine, season ten. He's been around forever. Ah, the golden era. Uh, yeah, I guess you can say that. I, I, uh, many people don't know this because the funky spud is quite a new moniker, but I used to play under a different tag, lead trombone, years ago. And uh, it was before anyone knew how to play the game. And I have very fond memories from that era when koala beast was a nice and competitive map uh back when we had 500 people on origin at midnight yes back in those days oh yeah well maybe those days will come here again as uh no name makes this five two yeah yes yeah, sir clay funky spud is lead tromboner the more you know you know that is right sir clay there you go yeah sir clay i I go back with Sir Clay quite a bit, I, I suppose. That uh, that adds up. Six to two here now. It's time for our penultimate pups. Brought to you again by Blue Apron. Looks like double tag pros here for the Toronto Captors. And agency is going to have two bodyguards by his side. Green team is cursed. See if they can do it. Oh, that's not a good grab. And yeah, Agency is the assistant GM. Uh, GM. He's the co-associate captain of the Masaki Bombs in ALTP this season. Alongside Top Kekka, that's Rob Delaney. He's been around a long time, too. Very active in chat. And no name, no name. I don't know. He used to be CRC or something. I don't know. All right, I got a, I got a real level one question for you. All right, shoot. So when you're watching a competitive tag pro game, I yeah. understand we're looking at pups. You know, we're, we're we're seeing generally where the pups are going right now. But uh, in say slower periods, what uh what are you looking out for in a game? What are you uh what are you trying to to look at? Ooh. Nice. nice lead there. Sadness looking like a basic bitch, making it seven to three. <laughs> uh, like in like in these periods, like the game, at least how I view it, is structured between pup rounds because there's so much of an emphasis on pups that for that those thirty seconds between setting up for pups and the pup round itself, uh, that's a time where you see teams try to position themselves and open play try to make try to regain momentum like if they can hold the flag and Three, keep the two, opponent's flag kool-aid one. chance for one more doesn't get it then and that's that's what i'm looking for i'm looking to see which team is trying to influence the game here man kool-aid and sadness were really popping off there that was a series of good plays they look like they're playoff ready and we'll be right back I can't believe it. You knew the transition. No one ever knows the transition. That was awesome. That was awesome. Funky? Yes. Yeah. Cause you. Yeah. Are you saying? Are you I'm, saying I knew something? I'm. So, I'm sorry. Yeah, you knew when the transition was. Oh sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm like some people who come in the booth from time to time. No oh. Names mentioned, I see. Who, yeah. No. Al, who always talk over the transitions? I wonder who I'm I'm try- referring to here. <laughs> Trying to trying to pick my spots, you know, play it safe. I don't want to blow it on on the help of stream, you know. Trying to come in and just you know respect respect the space, respect the transitions, you know, all that all the all the little stuff. 
My goodness, he's a savant. He knows his stuff. Folks, this is amazing. This is amazing. Let me get back on cam for a second. <laughs> so <laughs> refined. My one shot. <laughs> Listen, this is Funky Spud's 15 minutes of fame. So we gotta, <laughs> we gotta take advantage of this as much as you can. I mean, what's the largest stream you've had this week's Funky? Oh, it was probably the one I just did a couple hours ago. I was uh, doing a raid train and uh, got a couple raids, so I was sitting at a sitting at about a hundred. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you know, this 31 viewer stream it's going to be big for your career. No, 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 no. Here's the deal, Halpa. For real, the tag pro homies are so important to me, and they they've they've helped me with uh with growing popularity, spreading the word of tag pro. I, I owe a lot to this community, and uh, I appreciate every single one of you. Shout out to Funky Spud. And with that said, oh, wait, I got to refresh. Yes, I didn't mess up. Game one, half two, is coming your way on Moonbase. But yeah, you've you've been you've been quite busy these last few weeks yourself in, in the streaming world. Uh, you had your anniversary stream. Oh yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Can uh, yeah. is there any word on like what the next great tag pro podcast is gonna be? Because it's it's felt a little weird this season. Not a uh, not having a podcast I can make a theme for. <laughs> See, I thought Jarvis and uh, Jarvis Landry and uh, Victor Messi were going to continue the podcast this season, but there's apparently a bit of a falling out there. And mm. chance here for Kool Aid, good kiss to prevent that Caparuni. And a couple of flashes from Toronto Catherine's. That's not what you want to see. I got some Viagra in the back if you want some. Like, you can just. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> First round of pups coming up. See, mm -hmm. that's that thirty seconds between pups where you can just get weird about things and and, and say things that are going to get you in trouble with yourself. As no name comes in, makes it seven four. And well, I, I forgot what I was saying because Viagra. <laughs> it was worth it. Side effects of Viagra may include memory loss. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot what I was saying. Uh, I'm, is... I'm sure this is a this is an extremely well known fact, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best here. Viagra was originally a blood pressure medication, and uh, the side effect just happened to be what it was. And that's when uh that's when it got its usage. But its original intent was a uh, was blood pressure. That sounds about right. I think I've heard that. That that sounds like what Sidenafil would have been used for. All right. This is a big Tag Pro lead. Oh. oh that Tag Pro was not engorged and not active in the play. And there was no lane for G-Man, I believe it was, to come in the base. I'm so glad this is not an LTP stream because Cheese Doodle would have my ass. And not in the way Circlay wants to have my ass. Yeah, that sounds hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Circlay, what are you doing? Okay, I'm I gotta go. Sure. Sorry, I'm not I... sure what I Love HD TV did to get banned, but uh, I have to agree with Tag Pro Professor that he is a great commentator. What? Much love to HD. Why are we banning I Love HD here? How do I untime out? <laughs> oh, sir, <Cirque. laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't even know how to do this. Uh...
I can't do it because you deleted all of his messages, Circlay. Oh my god. Like, I literally can't do it. Yeah, you kind of did. Oh my god. Anyway, 8 to 4 is your score here. We are kind of sort of reset, but not really because No Name's slow getting on offense and Kool Aid grabs 1v2. And he might get out here. He might have some room here. It's a 3v3 now. Griff is trying to figure out who she wants to block here between Yawn and Agency. Yawn extends well ahead as pups come up. And there's a chance here for Kool Aid if he can stay alive. Oh, splits the Toronto captors like Giannis and Tentacumpo in the playoffs. 3v2 coming in. That's because the black agency goes Oh, Kool-Aid. Oh, man. Such great jukes. Oh. That was such a good uh, sequence. I love HD. I think you're back. And I'm back to paying attention to the game as G-Man gets in there with the help of his, with the help of his friends. 8 to 5. Uh. This ain't over, folks. Maybe it's over. I don't know. I don't think it's... Kool-Aid shutting me up. It's 9 to 5 now. He's trying to say I was right the first time. Good push there by Griff to win a tag pro. I think there was a JJ1 there by no name, but he gets uh, gated in the process. Definitely an advantage here, not to say re, but Sadness has got to move. Big kiss. That's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> right? No, that was good for Blue. You think it was good for Blue? Yep, absolutely. Well, they are. They do have the chance right now. Oh, the Kool-Aid was wise to the movement. I'm really trying not to get exposed for my lack of tag pro knowledge. <laughs> you, you have me second a, guessing. You think this is good for blue? I don't know. Oh no, 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 no! I just wanted you to go on about it. Like, oh, I see. Like, why is it good for blue? No one really knows why it's good for blue. I Trust see. Me. It had to do had to do with the tag pro. Trust me. I, we could have grief seeds and warriors and toasty and Vulcan Ninja on the stream right now. They could disagree on why it's good for blue or good for red or good for whomever. It's just how you feel. It's just it's 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 a vibe check. You know? <laughs> gotcha. It's like playing GeoGuessr. Sometimes you just gotta say, this feels like Lithuania. I'm guessing Lithuania. And Griff sees Kentucky! And she's headed home. It's 10 5. Night you say, Ray. Griff at the 5K. But yeah, barring that, you can just talk about whatever you want, honestly. <laughs> and, Appreciate that. I mean, I'm, that. I, I mean, I'm completely serious. Like, can I talk about uh? So, Griff is the best. Griff has a great attitude. Mm. Really appreciate Griff. Yeah. One of my favorite tag pro homies. Griff. It's official now. I've, now that I've said it on the helpless stream, it's official. It's official, Griff. You are a tag pro homie. Griff kept me sane. During my season captaining a European minors team. Wow. I, I drafted her, so, you know. That was an experience. What brought you uh, to Europe? Uh, I only wanted to captain a minors team, a GM, a minors team that season. And whoever was COC that season wouldn't left me GM, a minors team. So I decided, fuck it. I'm going to GM a majors team and an NLTP franchise and a European franchise and the Oceanic franchise, but they were between seasons, so I couldn't do that. Oh my God, Kool Aid getting out there. Kool Aid is insane. I have serious juke envy. Oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> Wait, why are we allowing the word whore? Circling, what are you doing? Oh, nice kiss there by Dusk. Using the RB. Giving the RB up for sadness. <laughs> you literally have no words banned in your chat. 
Circle is trying to get me canceled, isn't it? Oh my god. Also, that's three words, clearly, not one. No name. Trying to make a clean cap here like the Whore of Babylon. This is what Circlay's driven me to. Can't do it, can't pull it off. Circlay gets out. I'm sorry, Kool Aid gets out cleanly. Help. <laughs> Getting out to our last minute of action here on Moonbase. Let's just say we have looked good, haven't I? As Griff picks up another RB. So, uh, what made you mod Circlay? Because. I have a lot of questions. About I have that. I have questions too. I think I didn't have a mod for like a big game, like maybe the Duper Ball last year or something like that, and I need a mod. And he said, "Mod me, I'll clean this up." And yeah. Now we can speaking talk. Of, yeah, speaking of Duper Ball, gotta say thank you for all the help that you gave me when I when I hosted that a couple seasons ago. No problem. You did a great job there with that new football. I think it was season 24, 22, yeah. 21, whatever. It was, the, it was the one before last. 21, yeah. Yes. The ball fins pulled it out. And uh, yeah, I have a I have a soft spot for, for Jarvis Landry ever since. 11 to 5 is your final score here. Toronto Captors looking in game two to avoid a first round date with Jarvis Landry. I guess they don't want to go to prom. We'll be right back. Griff with 21 returns. Oh, my God. She's good. Pay the tax. <laughs> And now you see between games here, usually I go cut over to whomever else is playing tactical, but we're the only game in town right now, so I've got some jumping jacks and burpees to do. So I guess I gotta do them. I'll be doing them too, you just can't see. Everyone at home, stand up and do some jumping jacks and burpees right now. All of you, that means you. And you, and you, and you, and you. And you, Circlay. You do double. Because buttholes or something, I don't know. This isn't Jardim. This is Merrill. I saw this one up one nil. I don't know. I'm distracted by the corn. Whew. Oh dear. 
I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Oh man. Okay. Oh, Q42 speaking my love language. About potato chips? Oh yeah. Ah. All day, air day. Now, what's your favorite type of potato chip? Like, if I'm Funky okay. Spud, yeah, which I'm not because you're Funky Spud. Right. What type of potato chips am I eating? <sighs> okay, this is hard for me to say. Um, I'm assuming that this is like a pretty safe place, and like I'm not gonna be like judged too harshly for the wrong answer. As long as the answer isn't buttholes or dirty sluts or whatever else Sir Clay's approved, I'm good. Yeah, no, uh, no whores in this answer. Um, so I, sp I really spend most of my time eating tortilla chips, not potato chips. I feel a little bit like a fraud for it. Um, it's just there's a lot of really good tortilla chip options out there. And I just feel like the diversity in flavor is uh, it's a little bit superior to potatoes. So you're saying that sometimes you eat corn instead of potatoes. <laughs> yes, that is what I'm saying. That's understandable. That's fair. We do live in a corn intense nation, you know. And I don't love that. I don't love that. But here's what, here's what I'll say. So there's this brand called Siete. And Siete chips are like, uh, they're, they're sort of a healthier option, it seems. And their flavors are extremely satisfying. And um, it doesn't taste like healthy chips. It, it, it tastes like, like, how much, how do I put this? It tastes like a Saturday at the, at the ballpark. Fat and grease and and deliciousness and salt. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but there's not like uh, there's no canola oil or anything that's gonna give you like a stomach ache. It's uh, it's like natural like uh, avocado oils and things like that. I mean, you're speaking my language when you talk about avocado. Yes. Ooh. Oh, Kool Aid. Oh, Kool Aid. The post allowed that cap because Kool-Aid was outside of the range of the RB defusal. But Yon's momentum stopped and he wasn't able to get there to the flat towel in time to stop Kool-Aid. The RB allowed that cap to happen. Unlucky. Unfortunate. Beautiful stuff, though, by Kool-Aid. As, as far as potato love goes, um, I have to say, tachos have become my absolute favorite dinner to make. So okay. I make, uh, like, tater tot nachos is, is where the name comes from. But I'll even just, like, cut up a potato, bake it, and then cover it in meat and cheese with, uh, with like, sour cream and avocado and all that good stuff. And uh, it's like nachos with potatoes. That sounds Ooh. good. That does sound good. Um, like just like any ground meat works. Um, nice, HD. nice sacrifice. There and Kool Aid gets another one in in close quarters. There should be another one. Another sacrifice. Really great team play. There are so many sacrifices going on by the Knights who say re Kurt Angle's chances of victory have gone down. That's a wrestling reference. No one. I don't think. I don't know. Do you get that reference? You suck. Yeah. You suck. <laughs> you suck. Yeah. Yeah, more sacrifices than an Aztec calendar year. Oh. Okay, okay, I like that too, one. Maybe too soon for that. Mm. Yeah, you know. I mean, you gotta let that sit another 100 years or so before we can start making jokes about the Aztecs. Yeah, refined. It's a bit insensitive. Yeah. But uh, I'm, you reminded me that uh, when I was younger, ooh, no name brings it in. One of my mother's co-workers uh, used to make baked potato, like she, she would make baked potatoes, half hollow out the potato after baking, add, add broccoli and cheddar inside the potato, fill the rest of the potato with the potato meat, and rebake it. So it's twice baked, but you've got broccoli oh. and cheese 
inside the potato. So, in theory, that's fine. Um, uh -oh. I think, I think one thing that my mom did to me that kind of created some damage. Once again, we're in a safe place, right? Yeah, we're in a safe place. <laughs> Sorry, there's pups happening. By the way, it looks like uh, there's gonna be a rolling bomb on each side. Um, she used to like. I don't know, like boil broccoli? Just like make it as mushy as possible and then put this like really horrible nacho cheese on it. Boil? And uh, just horrible. Just the most gag worthy stuff ever. So broccoli and cheese has been tough for me. But, so um, you know, much love to, to Mama Spud. You know, no hate or anything, but just she really didn't do her vegetables well. It ruins the integrity of the. of the. stem. Oh, a couple facets later, and Sadness has himself a happy. 5-2. That's unfortunate. You know, it's like... It's like, you know, those, 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 those people who grow up in households where... Whenever you have steak, it's well done and only well done. Oof. You know? Yeah, I dealt with a good amount of that myself as well. It's a long road to recovery, but... Um... I've started eating raw vegetables, and that's helped me get back in the door. And now I can appreciate a nice roasted Brussels sprout here and there. And you know, we're making a making a comeback. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's how it goes. Like sometimes you just gotta get you just gotta get somebody a nice steamer, and show them how broccoli is supposed to taste, how how vegetables are supposed to, what texture they're supposed to have. Agency brings one in here to make it 5-3. G-Man trying to turn the corner on Dust does so. But Griff and Kool-Aid are there. It's it, it's it's a it's a night party up in that top corner. You know, you just gotta get a steamer, you just gotta get get exposed to how these foods are supposed to be, or how these foods are cooked in contemporary society. And then you know you'll you'll taste the difference. There's a good way to do it. I guess I would just say to anybody, like, don't be afraid of a food that you have disliked in the past. You know, there's there's lots of options out there. And, you know, butter and salt fix a lot of things as well, just in general. So I can speak to this. I can speak to this recently. Uh, like about two weeks ago or so. Again, thanks to our sponsor this evening, Blue Apron. Uh, I There was a meal I had that I don't remember ordering, but it was like... Uh, pesto noki, but as sadness should have one here, should Ooh, does nice. Very sneak close. it in six to three. They sent me pesto noki and they they topped it with uh panko, like toasted panko pistachio breadcrumbs. And I hated pistachios as a child, like, I could never eat pistachios, I could barely eat sunflower seeds, it's just pumpkin seeds or nothing. And then I had these had the pistachio seeds in this meal, and now I can't stop eating pistachio seeds. Unsalted, no less. You're a new man. Wow, Kool Aid is uh, the MVB in my in my books for this game. You know, if I'm thinking about it, maybe Kool Aid might be the MVB for this season. I know there's some debate about Doors versus OK then, but. I gotta tell you, Kool-Aid's look impressive, not just tonight, but in every week I have streamed the Knights who say re. So we come out to the last few seconds here, Knights who say re again, getting a 7-3 lead after half one. Sadness with four caps and Kool-Aid with three. That's an offensive tag. No. Red is really just playing with like a lot of team effort, lots of sacrifices, and uh, good communication. You can just tell. Yeah, they're looking really good. And we'll see if they can close this out. <laughs> How dare I forget my transition? Immersion ruined.
I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. This is what the commercials used to be for. I could just put on two minutes of commercials, put on some farmers only, put on some Japanese commercials, and you know, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even notice. Good night, Circlay. Sleep well, Circlay. Good luck with your hints matches tomorrow. Remember. Yeah, get some, get some rest after that impressive modding job there. Did some good work. Remember. Grand Central Station does not count as an adequate first aid location. Take it from me, I know. I've been there. Hey, G-Man. You got one more half. I believe in you. Finish strong, you know? Make him say, uh. I'm in a pub. <laughs> I've been kicked from group. Oh, this is good. Yeah. If it makes you feel better, I'm still considering servers, so I don't believe the game is happening. Yeah, you can come back to group. Nothing is happening. What the? Hmm. Uh, how do I? What? You wanna throw me a mod real quick so I can, uh. Yeah. Oh, there, there you go. You got it. Did I? Someone got it. I'm still back in the pub. Oh, boy. I think Tag Pro's breaking. I'm considering servers. I'm back in group. Maybe we'll finish this season. Maybe we'll finish this season. I don't know. But, 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 but. I'll be back here tomorrow. And I will be on the bike. And maybe I'll do some weight, weights. And maybe I'll play someone in chess. And maybe I'll do some GeoGuessr. And maybe I'll finally hang up these fucking paintings. These, these fucking, this, this wall stuff. That's been sitting there for like three months. Maybe I'll hang it up. Maybe I'll move the couch. I don't know. I could do anything. Help it. You ever play Settlers of Catan? I am horrible at Settlers of Catan. That's why I haven't joined you in Settlers of Catan. Oh. Okay. No but problem. if you're a tag pro homie and you're down with the funky spud and I am back in a pub. I mean, you can tell them if you want funky spud while I. Oh. Yeah, in uh, in the on the potato farm, which is the Funky Spud Discord server, we've been playing uh, Settlers of Catan, and I've been mopping the floor with almost everybody. So if you think that you're up for a challenge, it's free to play, and uh, you can face the Funky Spud in a game of Settlers of Catan. All right, I gotta do some stuff in the back end here because absolutely everything failed. So just give me a minute and watch the game, and I'll make this pretty for you. Doing stuff on the back end. That's ugly. Hold on. All right, so uh, I'm going to do some play-by-play. -play. Um, looks as if we got eight players. They're, uh, they're all moving around in an attempt to score, and it looks like Kool-Aid is going to do it. How about that? He did the thing, and they're going to do it again. 
really good tag proing. Hey guys, if you ever have to fix a chroma key in real time, it's kind of stressful. I just gotta say, it's kind of stressful. Tag Pro streaming is not as easy as it looks. I can I can say from experience. I hosted the Nooper, and for anyone that was keeping track, I uh, barely said anything the entire time because I was trying to just make sure that the screen was showing the right thing at the right times. Quite challenging. This is... Well, it's not live Twitch for nothing. Someone remember these numbers, please. 10 one, one, one. Yeah, I've got studio mode, but it's the same scene, so, you know, reasons. All right. Now, if I knew what the score was. It is uh, a, a 10 to 3. 10 to 3? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Funky Spud. You can really tell that... Uh... The blue knows how to play because of the way that it is. I mean, the object mm. of the game is to score more caps than the other team. I, I gotta say, nice you say Re are doing that quite well right now. I concur. <laughs> uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? What I love is that they're not letting the pressure get to them. You know, they're keeping their head in the game. It is always good to not let the pressure get to you. How much time? Delayed, gonna snipe. How much time is left? Uh, Six thirty. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no pressure. No pressure. Not sure if I'm seeing your stream on a big enough delay or what, but it's uh, it's ten four now. It is ten to four. You know, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this by the time the game's over. You'll see. I got this. Aw, that's a nice sentiment, fl uh, Flaccid. He is the most valuable bestie. He is the most valuable bestie. <laughs> Awkward sadness. Yeah. I believe it's twelve to four now. Blue is uh, kind of just uh, laying on the disrespect at this point. Running up the score. Oh, very close there. I believe we call this playing for stats. Sure. Yep. <laughs> All right. That took 
five minutes and change, but I've got a scoreboard on the screen. It's not the scoreboard I want, but it's the scoreboard we've got, and it's 12 to 4, and we're going to come now to the four-minute mark. Time for the last anti pre ultimate pups of your regular season. Hey, I did it. Thanks, Funky Spud. Thanks, Flacco TV. An agency thinking yawn if he can get this one in. Playing for stats right now. An extra cap is always a nice treat. Isn't it? Is it? <laughs> Here, theoretically. <laughs> so you're going to be streaming the playoffs as well? I will be streaming the playoffs on Monday. I will stream Mondays. I will stream uh, my miners team. Uh, and they're in their quest for the mooper. And you'll see sadness on that team. And I am definitely streaming Weed the People's A and B teams this playoff season. So as long as they're in, I'm in. So make sure you follow Halpa for all the tag pro goodness this season. I don't know about that of HD. I've seen your streams, and when I wasn't having epilepsy, your streams are, 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 are what do you call it? Super hot fire? Is that what the kids say? Yep, yep, that's what they're saying. That's what the kids say. Super hot fire. I'm a really big fan of the uh, the effort and the just the production value that Halpa, I Love HDTV, Flacco... Really appreciate the all that effort, you know. Tag Pro is only as good as the pe the community, and uh, you guys are really doing good work. And I can't leave him out, even though he's not streaming anymore. In, fa in fact, he's taking a limited role in the Tag Pro Future Group. But Magic Pigeon, oh, I mean, I, yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure we were all inspired by Magic Pigeon's montages back in the day, and his and ultimately a lot of the updates that you see. And the streams that you see today owe themselves to Magic Pigeon. So, shout out to Magic Pigeon. If I can be a little self-indulgent here for a second. Um, so, a lot of you know me as the Funky Spud when I was uh, not drafted by Dusk with the rest of the potatoes. It's kind of a, kind of a big entrance into the scene. I did in fact play like three games of a season, like nine year or nine, I don't know. It was years earlier. And my coach was Honey Bear. Mm. I'm wondering, does anybody know about Honey Bear or like what happened to him? Because I had very positive experiences with him, but I have not heard from or seen him since. Honey Bear, that's, that takes me back. That takes me back. Okay, then you got me, you got me. You got any fire on Honey Bear? Jesus, I love HD. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the sentiment, but <laughs> yeah, I also hope he didn't die. My god. Is that a cat for Toronto there? I hope, I also hope he's not dead. Uh, yeah. Why don't we just check and see. Teams are now capping for fun, updating their stats as best they can in these last few seconds while I'm trying to find something on Honey Bear. So, okay then, you're saying he was part of TPM. I don't remember when TPM was started. Do you have a, an idea of how long ago that was? To two is your final score. My my thing is wrong. It is fifteen to five, and that's how a regular season will end. And folks, there's nothing left to do now but go to the playoffs. See which team can win it all and win Super Bowl twenty six. Thanks for tuning in, but we're not done here yet. Or are we done here? <laughs> I don't know. Is, I mean, is, is anybody... 
Anybody out there want to challenge me in chess? Geoguessr? Trivia? Tactical Nuclear Warfare? NBA 2K21? I'm waiting for a game that I know. <laughs> You know, we do have a North America versus Europe Geoguessr tournament that I need to announce, which I'm probably going to do after this stream is just pair a graphic, make it ugly, pretty, whatever, and announce it on the subreddits. Look out for that. I mean, if there's nothing left to do here, I'm just going to raid somebody. Going once, going twice. Let's go say hi. But you're not on. Everyone, thanks for tuning in. Let's go say hi to Tinder Fella. Thanks for having me, Halpa. It was a pleasure. Uh, getting my getting my feet wet in the stream, trying to trying to make my way around a, a tag pro game, and uh, appreciate you. Hey, thank you, Funky Spud. Make sure you check out Funky Spud on twitch.tv slash the Funky Spud. I only put it in like the corners, like at the start of every stream. Seriously, check him out. He streams Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. I think I got that right. That's right. Good job. Just tune in and let the room consume you. With that, let's go say hi to Tinder Fella. Bye. Nice. And we're still on YouTube. Oh, you're streaming on YouTube? Uh, I'm recording for YouTube. Oh, that's uh, that's smart. You you don't want to rely on uh, just grabbing the VOD from Twitch. Exactly. That makes sense. And we're out.